Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is video two of MS Access Controls. We're talking about the not unless before update and after update events. So, very quickly, if you uh, looked at the last the last video, which I hope you did, uh, we went. We're gonna we're gonna re recap some of the some of the code that we went through. Okay, we discussed the click event. We discussed the 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 double click event, the mouse down, the mouse up. These events are what happens during the the mouse event, the during the double click event. And yeah, of course, you can cancel out the cancel out of the uh, cancel out of this event. God focus. Whenever you click on something, when you lost focus, you've left the text box. Okay, you want to continue. The uh, double click event, the report open up during that event, okay, and the change, the change event. And now we're looking at the uh, after update event. So the after update event occurs after something after a text box change has been made, and the before update event happens before an update is made. So you can cancel that. So it's before the, act, the actual change is committed to the database. The after update means it's already been committed to the database. That's why I say that the change was com completed. So let's go to our, our form here before update and after update. For example, uh, uh, Jesse, that's going to be before update. Okay, because we still have the we still have this little pencil going on up here in the top left corner of the of the form. Okay, we're still in pencil mode. And pencil mode means edit mode. Then Jesse is down here, so we haven't really committed yet to the database. Now when I press my tab key or my enter key, okay, save changes. It asks me I can save the changes. Again, I'm in edit mode here. I can cancel out of this before update event and say no. Change will not be saved. And then it's all good. Okay, changes are not saved. I could also commit the changes. And then the after update event fires. And it says change was completed. Okay. Alright, then I move on to the next record. Alright, now a uh, very important event, not in list event. Okay, and the not in list event has a has a wide variety of of keywords. Okay, most important are the new data, new data in string, the response to integer. Okay, uh, this is really really important. It'll make your application look very professional. Okay, now I added a, a little form called form add book title, and I. I just bound it to the table, uh, the book table, and I put it. It's only has one record that shows. It's actually shows up as blank. Okay, in add mode. Now let's see how this works. So that when I click on, let's see how all these are my book titles, and I'm pulling it. It's all coming from a a table here called. TBL uh, books. There it is, right here. All right. So very quickly, we're going to go and look at adding a new title. Okay. Uh, let me see Stephen King. It's up top of my head. And that's not a current book title. So would I like to add it? Yes, I'd like to add it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And adding a book title. Uh, okay, I'm saying on the open event of the form, I can program in, I can put the open arguments here, Stephen King, and then okay, and I click. That's really not supposed to be there, but so now that's added to my selection here. Now I will make a video number three because I noticed that my time is running out. So I will make a three and I'll go through that code again. So again, thank you so much for for viewing and make sure that you rate and subscribe subscribe to this channel. 
You can rate the video, get the code using this video, vbahowto.com. Great. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.